in the kitchen this morning wondering what to make the kids for lunches. Well, we've got some easy school lunches. Allison Mumford's here from Ends and Stems. Spinach, ham, and cheese waffles with honey mustard sauce. Look, that sounds fantastic. I went with peanut butter and jelly when I was in school, but this is much better. Also a great lunch, though you can't send peanut butter anymore, no, so you have to send sun butter or something uh, alternative. It's not as much fun. So what I love about these is you can make them ahead. Right. They freeze well, and you can just send them in the lunchbox. So it sounds fancy, but it's actually still really relatable, and the kids will just gobble them up. Well, also, if you go to your Instagram page, right, yep. um, you can get a bunch of recipes to make for the kids. So it's yep. something cool. That great. 19 make-ahead school lunches, things you can pop in the fridge for the week or okay. the freezer for a couple weeks. That and way you don't have to think about it every morning. That's really good. Okay, so let's go over what we need to, to put this together. So also, to stay on brand, I have spinach. spinach. I have interviewed literally thousands of people. And one of the most common things that people throw away, there's even a meme about it, is spinach. I know. So this recipe uses four cups of fresh spinach. Okay. So it's also a great food waste recipe, yeah. obviously. That's really good. And then it's a pretty classic waffle. I have corn flour, though, um, regular flour, some deli ham and cheese, whatever you happen to have. And then garlic powder, baking powder, and a little bit of butter and milk. And Comes together just like a classic waffle. Right, and you can, I mean, you've got, you, don't you have a sauce over there too with it? Yeah, so we're going to make a little honey mustard sauce. The idea is this is sort of a deconstructed sandwich. Got it. So you've got, you know, all the notes of your classic ham and cheese sandwich. Right. So the little sauce you can send to dip with it later. Because, you know, by the time you get to lunch, the waffle will be cold. Right. But it still tastes great because it has so much flavor in it. And then you can dip it in the little sauce rather than smearing condiments on a sandwich. Look, I mean, I was looking, I'm looking at the waffle right now, and it looks it looks delicious. It looks so, so yeah. good. So this will be perfect. If you're wondering, what am I going to make for the kids for lunch all this week? Go to Allison's Instagram page. Bunch of recipes on there. Simple, easy stuff that you can you can make ahead of time. Put in the freezer. We'll uh, put this together. We'll give this a try and talk to, uh, to Allison about what else is going on. She doesn't like to throw food away. Back to you. <laughs> We are back in the Roadshow Kitchen this morning with an easy lunch recipe. I know we're talking school lunches around this time with Chef Allison from Ends and Stems, but really this is great for anyone on the go, the teachers the that teachers. are also going to school as well. Sometimes yep. you just need a quick meal or you're going somewhere, you need to Definitely. pack it in the car. This is a good one. Definitely. And it's it sounds a little fancy, but it's actually super simple. Okay. It's really relatable. But what I love about this, as opposed to, let's say, making a ham and cheese sandwich, mm. they're going to get soggy. So you yes. can't make them on Sunday and serve it on Friday. Mm -hmm. Get soggy. If you do the same ingredients, but in a different format, you can actually pop this in your freezer, and they're good for months that way. Wrap okay. them up in a Ziploc bag, mm -hmm. and it's, it's a little bit fun. You know, it's... It's I, something new. Yeah, it's something different. It mixes it up. And like you said, I love that idea of making a big batch of them, freezing them, exactly. makes it even easier. This Your whole concept uses leftovers of things. You're, you're digging yes. around in the fridge, trying not to just reheat the same old thing. So that's also why I love this recipe. I have talked to thousands of people about what gets most wasted. Mm -hmm. Spinach is always on that list. You could also yeah. use herbs instead of spinach. Oh, yeah. I'll be honest, if I make this for my kids, I don't put the spinach in it because mm -hmm. it's green flex. What kind of second grader is going to have green flex, right? But you can kind of mask the taste of it. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Give you them greens without them really tasting it. Yep. So it's just a basic waffle recipe. Um, so I have a little baking powder, which makes it rise. Mm -hmm. I used cornmeal. I like the texture of it. Yeah. And then since you're going to serve this ultimately at room temperature in the lunchbox, it just gives it a better taste at room temperature specifically. Gotcha. And we're not trying to soak up any syrup here anyway. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to do a little garlic powder, which is optional depending on if you like the taste of that or not. If right. you are taking... Oh, we're ready to go. Okay. Catch, catch the waffle Waffle maker. iron says, hey, speed it up. I'm ready. So this is going to be really thick batter. I just took okay. the fresh spinach, shredded it up. You can do as much or as little as you like. And then the other one is deli ham. This yep. is a great way to use that up as well. You could use turkey. You could use leftover chicken. Whatever mm -hmm. you want to do. Really can, you know... At this point, you can adjust these ingredients to use whatever you have. The protein, yeah. You could do shredded zucchini in here would be amazing. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to do cheese. So now at this point, we want to kind of toss this. This is where it's a little different than a regular waffle. Right. And you want to make sure everything gets nice and coated. Okay. Okay. And then we're going to stir in one cup of milk and about four tablespoons of melted and slightly cooled butter. And that's it. And then you can okay. spray that. I already yep. put a little on there, but you can add a little more. There you go. So this will make about three or four waffles, depending on what size waffle maker you have. Mm -hmm. It's really not finicky, right? So it sounds fancy, but that was super easy. Yeah, I like it. And this part is not at all finicky. 
But the other difference from making breakfast waffles mm -hmm. is we're going to put this in and it really sits up, right? It's a thick right. batter. So I want to pr just press it down well, that's and true. move it to it the edges. Because it probably ooze out. When Not like a regular waffle one. would. Yeah. Can I give Can it a push? Push that down okay. and then give it a little push. And mm. that will cook through. Listen to the sizzle. Yeah. Now, when you take them out, have something ready so mm. that you don't just put it flat on a plate because it'll get soggy underneath. Yeah. So I just stacked it on there. You could use a baking dish, whatever mm -hmm. you have. So that's how I would serve it, and you can, um, you know, chop it up into into wedges to put into your kids' lunches. Yeah. Depending on how old they are and how much they need. I love these waffle irons now. You can make them into shapes of different Making things. Di exactly. Yeah, you can really have fun with this one. Um, okay. And then we're going to make a quick honey mustard sauce. Mm. So this is a little sour cream or mayo. Again, think the components of a ham and cheese sandwich. I never think to really make my own condiments. But it's, it's easy, right? Really, this one is really just four other condiments stirred yeah, together. Yeah, okay. Um, and if you are making it for the grown-ups, you could add a little sriracha. It would taste yeah. amazing in this as well. Um, and then a little bit of honey in here. Yeah. You could certainly buy honey mustard. You could serve this with ranch, whatever your kids like, even with hummus maybe. Sure. Um, but it's just to kind of give it, again, so since good. you're serving it at room temperature. Mm. And it's more of a savory waffle, too, than the sweet. Exactly. It's, it's just to give it a little bit more flavor as they take it to school. Okay. So I would put this in a little container and serve it yeah. alongside. That sounds good. Like I'm going to give this a try. Box. How do we find recipes like this from you? Because this was part of like a, what was it, nine, 19, 19 recipes? And <laughs> yeah, um, and also with avocado would be amazing on here. So I did a oh school lunch webinar. Um, it has a whole bunch of tips on packing easy school lunches, I and there this. are 19 make-ahead recipes. Okay. So you do like a little avocado toast. I'm doing a tear here. I'm not double dipping. I've rotated the waffle. I'm Perfect. going in with a completely untouched side. So you can so find those in my, that. They're in my Instagram bio. So it's linked. You can download it. 19 recipes. Half oh of God. them are for the fridge. Mm -hmm. So things like overnight oats and salads that you could make on a Sunday right. and serve all week. Have and the last. other half go in the freezer for a couple of months. So it doesn't have to be super stressful every morning. This is... So delicious. So, so you can see how that starts. I kind of doubted you at first. <laughs> I was wondering about the integrity of the waffle. But at last, it's great. Throw it in it really a lunch. Does. Go to our website, get the recipe.